Today I'm going to be showing you how to put together this Mercedes Etros from BigToysDirect.com step by step so make sure you follow along. Alright guys, so we're going to get started and I'm going to go step by step to show you how to put this monster truck together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to empty out the contents of this box. Once you have everything removed from the box, you can go along with the instruction manual and actually see all the parts in the instruction manual to see what you have to make sure that you have all the necessary parts to put it together. We're gonna to start out by laying it upside down on top of the box. That's kind of like a comfortable way to work on it. Um, also gonna remove these uh, foam inserts because we don't need them. This one is actually bagged. And then the next step is removing this, uh, the steering arm that's in a bag tied to the front of the truck. We're gonna remove that. Along with the instruction manual, you should receive these two plastic wrenches that we're gonna be using to put this thing together. So the first thing I'm gonna do after removing the steering mechanism from the bag is I'm gonna remove these little nuts right here that, that is on top uh, for the mounting. Once I've removed these, I'm also gonna be removing the one off of the steering motor. Now we're gonna take the steering mechanism and we're gonna install it onto the truck. Make sure these slide in. And you might have to adjust this motor just a little bit to give yourself the space. And that's it. Make sure the steering is working properly. And then we're gonna reinstall these nuts back where they came from. After we're done with those, we're gonna put the steering motor nut back on as well. and then tighten it with a wrench. Once we're done with the front steering, we're gonna to move to the back and we're gonna clip these zip ties that are on the back of the axle. So once you clip the zip ties on top of the shocks, um, these motors are gonna be loose and all you have to do is pull the zip tie out through here. There's also a washer on the zip tie, so make sure you retain those because we're gonna to have to install those once we put our axle and wheels on. So take that out. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out this bar, that's your handle for like pulling it into the garage and things like that. Uh, we're gonna lift this up and this little bar right here, you're gonna just move it on over and clip it and clip it right into that mechanism. Just like that, once this is uh, once this moves towards the back of the truck, you're all flipped in. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna align the motor and put it right over the shaft and do the same thing on the other side. So our motors are now in place. The next step is locating this axle shaft. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the little nuts that are installed on it from the factory. So we're gonna be taking this off. Once you have those nuts removed, all you have to do is slide the axle shaft through the motors and through the inside of the axle. The next step we're gonna be putting on the wheels. The flat circle part goes on the outside and the one that looks kind of like a star goes on the inside towards the motor to match up with the gear. Slide that on. 
and make sure it aligns. There we go. Next, I'm gonna be using that washer that came off the zip tie inside the motor with the nut that came off the axle shaft. And we're just gonna put these guys on, just get it started on there. And now we're gonna move to the other side. So there's a reason why they give you two of these is because once you're done installing the wheels on the back, uh, we're gonna be using one on each side to make sure that we tighten both of the nuts at the same time. So, I'm gonna tighten this on both sides at the same time. And there you go. Our wheels in the back are installed. Once the wheels are installed, we're gonna follow it up with a cap. Make sure you align these little plastic clips with the holes on the wheel. And they should just snap in. Moving on to the front of the truck to install the wheels, we're gonna be taking off these little nuts that came pre-installed from the factory. And actually the front wheels and the back wheels are exactly the same. So they're gonna be installed exactly the same way too. Um, so that you have the space to clip in the cap in the, on the outside. Slide the wheel on. And we're gonna reinstall these nuts. Also install the cap. And we are done with the bottom side of the truck. What we're gonna do now is flip it back over and work on the top. So next thing we're gonna do once we have it flipped over is we're gonna install the steering wheel. And all that takes is lining up this little clip, putting the steering wheel on top, and the steering wheel just clips in. Test it out. Next comes the windshield, and that sits right here in the groove. Just line it up, and it should slide right in. There we go. Then we're sliding in these side view mirrors. Next, we're gonna be putting in these little bed rails. They go in only one way. If you try to put them in this way, they're not gonna go. And these also just snap in. All right, so the next step is fairly simple. All you have to do is hook up the battery uh, for it in order for it to work. And you will see that there is one wire that is not connected to anything with a little spade connector on it. What we're gonna do is just slide that onto the battery terminal. And that's it. We're gonna move this little guy out of the way since we're gonna be installing our seat here. After you've hooked up the battery, you could also test it to see if the battery is hooked up and it works properly. We have power. We're gonna be installing the bottom of the seat. These little tabs right here, they're just gonna slide into those holes. There we go. Locate the bag with the four little screws that came with the instruction manual. We're gonna be using those to mount the seat in. And using just a regular Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna put the screws through these holes that line up once you've installed the bottom of the seat on both sides. Once the bottom of the seat is secured, we're gonna to move to the back of the seat. On the back part of the seat, it is gonna have little foam inserts. Make sure you go ahead and remove those because we don't need them. And go ahead and slide the seat in. 
And we're gonna use the leftover screws to secure the seat to the truck on the sides. We're gonna peel off all the little protective films. As far as the remote control goes, we're gonna remove the little Phillips screw from the back of the controller and we're gonna install two AAA batteries. Make sure that it lights up. Yep, and we're ready to test. So the remote control should come paired up with the truck already. If for some reason it's not, it does come with instructions on the back of the controller how to pair the controller to the truck in case it's not paired when you receive it in the box. But it should come already paired up and once you put in the batteries and turn the truck on, it should work. After completing the assembly aspect of it, make sure you charge it up. And the charging port is under the seat on the bottom here. The initial charge should be around eight hours. And there you go guys. We are done putting this thing together and uh, we're gonna go have some fun with it after the initial charge. Definitely one of the easiest ride on toys to put together and uh, we're gonna go test it out as soon as it's non charging. So thanks for watching guys, later.